exemple, Jean Montréal has really uh, a plan for Montreal. She's a candidate that uh, represents uh, more, mostly the neighborhoods, uh, the little uh, community across the city. Probably just trying to figure out all this construction that's happening around the city and why it's happening, especially that it's risen ever since COVID has started. So finding a candidate that would probably, you know, be able to at least give a plan. I'm joined by Sasha Wilkie Marizel, former candidate in Montreal's last municipal elections in 2017 and student in immigration and interethnical relations. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, Alicia. Week three of the municipal campaign, a Léger poll commissioned by Projet Montréal finds Mayor Valérie Plante in the lead for now with voting intentions for her at 36%. For Denis Coderre, it's 35%, and Balarama Homeless is at 10%, but the poll was done before he joined forces with Marc-Antoine Desjardins. What do you make of these numbers one month before voting day? During this month, I think we will see a lot of change during the polls. And as you know, Balarama, just, Balarama Homeless just um, fusion with... Uh, Aliment pour Montréal with uh, Mr. Desjardins, Marc-Antoine. So I think at this time, maybe Balama will jump up in the surveys, in the polls. But um, for Valérie Plante and Denis I think we will see, like, it's going to be really tight during the race because, as you know, the former mayor, the Coder, was there during four years and Valérie Plante just um, had her four years. So I think at this time, we will see a lot of equal polls between the two first opponents. Incumbent Mayor Plante unveiled her electoral platform this week with 250 promises for the city, including building more affordable housing units and creating a 15-minute city, meaning that services or green spaces can be accessed with a 15-minute walk. What do you think of her platform so far and these ideas? I think there are a lot of great ideas in her platform, but we need fun to to build up a platform if she gets reelected. And it's the same thing for um, Denis Coder because, as you know, this morning is he, he talked about his plan to build fifty thousand housing um, near downtown Montreal. So the plans are really similar between the. The, the first two candidates. And I think this is a lot of great ideas for youth and uh, families living in Montreal. You mentioned Kader. He's actually looking to bring more people back to the downtown core, announcing funding for development, tax breaks for restaurateurs, and converting office spaces into residential buildings. Do you think this will help? And do you think these are good ideas? We have to look at, to look at the, the plan with a lot of... Uh, you know, with a lot of attention because we need money to to fund, um, you know, the the plan, and we also need money to con to execute the plan. So, all the plans are great plans, but we have to be realistic sometimes. Thank you so much for joining us, Sasha. Thank you, Alicia.